So clearly there's 200 years missing there. Of where did this come from? And their lineage is that it was brought in from Persia. And they called it the Prophet's Fist. It was an Islamic type boxing or an Islamic type, um, uh, you know, um, type of hand-to-hand -hand combat. My guess is that that probably goes back to Egypt and Persia. Um, and I could see that, you know, the way they move and the, the simplicity of it. It doesn't quite look like the Asian arts, per se. It just looks like real nasty fighting, okay? Um, and the idea, again, with Chimande is similar to that of Sorak and that of Kuntao, where it's like one hit, one kill, or one hit, one break, or one hit, one knockout. Now, the Chimande players, because the art is so deeply rooted in, in Islam and in Sufism, they never wanted to kill the opponent. Instead, they wanted to teach them a lesson. So they hit you once, they break something, and then they give you a chance to um, ask for forgiveness. And if you ask for forgiveness, they'll heal you, you know? And if, they, if you didn't ask for forgiveness, they'll just let you, you know, by the side of the road, you'll have to figure it out. Um, and again, you think about the 1400s and 1500s, there was no emergency room, there was no ambulance that was gonna come pick you up. You know, you were just kind of left to deal with yourself. So the Chimande master was known to hit in a way where he would break the bones of your hands, okay, or break your 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 arm or your leg, uh, or dislocate a shoulder or an elbow or a knee or an ankle with their kicks and their punches. They do have the typical sweeps that you see, the besets and the sapus and, you know, the front and back sweep type thing, but really a chimande player is more kicking okay and same thing with hitting they're not really trapping you they're just hitting right through everything so it's a constant barrage of flowing which that's the flow you see in a sorak player because a sorak player got it from chimande um now there's some groups that divided into chimande has animal systems which some of them do and then there's some that it's more like each hand motion is an alphabet. And in fact, they have it connected to the Islamic alphabet or the Arabic alphabet, and then they have it connected to the ancient um, Buhun or, or Javanese uh, alphabets from their old times, you know? So each movement creates a shape, creates a, 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 a letter, okay? So you'll see a lot of things like this, okay? A lot of motions like this where they, they cover low, they cover high. Um, again, I'm in my car, but this is more of a a, um, a talk, if you will. So I can kind of introduce you to these ideas. I'm by no means a master of Chimande. I think it would take many, many lifetimes to even understand how deep it is. Um, but I have learned enough to know where my art comes from. I, I've seen enough inside of Sorak to tell you, okay, yeah, this is from Chimande. Um, there's a very specific way Chimande develops power. There's a lot of, um, like you see it in the Chinese, where it's a combination of horizontal and vertical power, which is uh, how they develop some of the Faijing. You see that in Chimande. So some Chimande systems, they they wave a lot of things. Like you see Pendecker Sandars uh, do things, he calls it, I think, Poison Hand. Um, it, the way I learned it was a little different because it was from a different lineage. Again, it's learning the, the, the subtle currents of water underneath the ocean or underneath the river. How the water moves is how you flow. And so you learn all those movements in your hands. There's a soft play, okay, and then there's a very hard, very hard play where every time you hit, your, your intent is to break something. Break something internally on the other person or to break a bone or dislocate something. Um, let me think of what else I can share with you about Chimande. They do use shapes, they do use geometry, not quite to the to the level of intricacy that you do in Sorak, but they're there. There's triangles, there's straight lines, there's zigzags, there's um, S patterns, you know, which I suspect they got that from Bagua, and that there was an influence between internal Chinese and even Chimande players, because some of the, you have to th remember that the, the Javanese people were a mix of all the Malay people. And 
there was nomadic Chinese, which were the Hakka people. They were always intermingling, you know, and trading. So I'm sure there's some of that inside of there. Um, like I told you, if you look at the healing, they use things like pressure points, marma points, uh, which they also attack when they're fighting with them. They also do something really interesting.